Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about how the industry is shifting to creating Shopify applications and basically startups that are serving the community of Shopify and its users and store owners. Okay, so let's get started. All right. So if you guys never heard of TechCrunch.com, you guys should definitely go check it out. It's a website where they're going to talk about everything that's happening with startups, you know, big companies like Google, Facebook, etc. Pretty much if you are in the tech industry and you are a developer this is one of those go-to websites that you should have on your bookmarks and you should check it out at least once a day or at least two three times a week all right i'm just gonna be honest with you guys okay you definitely should be checking out TechCrunch. okay now one thing that you guys may know or may not know is about Y Combinator. okay so this is pretty much like a competition where uh, people get to display their startups and ideas and their companies that they're working on and they get to actually showcase it for everybody to see and you know hopefully they get some funding etc okay now of course if you guys haven't checked this out definitely go google it right why combinator all right now there's about 98 companies in this Y combinator for summer 2020 demo day one and automatically we start seeing that people are creating, you know, Shopify apps and applications or startups for the Shopify ecosystem. Now, this is something that you guys are going to start seeing more and more, uh, you know, with the coming months. OK, uh, you're going to start seeing people talking about Shopify. You're going to start seeing people creating Shopify courses. You're going to start seeing people uh, talk about, hey, this is how much money I made with Shopify. Hey, this is how I created a startup with Shopify, etc. Right. You're going to start seeing this everywhere. I mean, I've been talking about this for almost damn near two years okay now we really have been focusing a lot because i set up a digital agency here in tampa florida where we focus on shopify development okay now i'm sharing this with you guys because it's super important if you want to become an independent developer to basically create your own income this is a great opportunity for you guys and i want to actually show you guys some of the applications that people are creating right now for shopify in its platform all right so we're going to start with the first one which is biaki so biaki is an application just like how they said here and I'll, I'll read you guys the description itself so you guys can get an idea right okay go to biaki uh where is it search it real quick here you go uh biayi sorry biyaki <laughs> biayi so shopify isn't a good match for consumers in the indian market because of consumer habits that differ from those of the u.s for instance many purchases are made through whatsapp rather than the web the founders started biayi after seeing family businesses using pen and paper to handle incoming orders online they charge merchants a hundred dollars per year okay so this is a startup that is really going for that market of india and at the same time you know worldwide because this is something that is not just happening in india it's happening all over the world where they're actually using mobile applications like you know wechat and things like that um where they might say you know what uh we want to pay through here instead of us having to pay for uh, a product through a credit card so they're making this more accessible to everybody okay so this is the startup right and this is actually looking pretty good right for all categories of businesses uh get and manage orders on mobile okay read customers mind uh be features right set up within minutes your e-commerce stores is ready within minutes customer support so in reality it, it, it's just a way to in, in, integrate your your store with uh, whatsapp okay that's pretty much it okay so they have a whole bunch of different uh pricing plans you know free uh premium uh gold vip premium right and i'm guessing this is indian root was it rubies or rupees <laughs> shout out to my indians out there uh but yeah this is something that somebody's creating out there and they're basically you know creating this application and putting it out there 
for their community. And, and this is cool because it also shows you guys that it doesn't matter where you live. I know some of you guys that live in, you know, South Africa, live in Nigeria, live in India, Pakistan, right? Colombia, Dominican Republic, Mexico, etc. And you might think, man, the only way to make money is really to live in the United States. And, and that's a lie, right? Because as you guys can see, there's guys that are making it happen from where they live. You have to see a problem right that's happening in your community and then from there you try to solve it with code right programming guys this is what we're here for and you're gonna get a bag if you actually go and solve people's problems all right so this is the first uh ap application right the first startup that we have here biayi now the second one that we have right here is called jika so let's actually search the description for jika uh, let's see. Okay, so Jika says Jika wants to help the average Shopify seller do price testing. The startup said during its pitch that the major online retailers have teams of folks working on pricing. Many smaller Shopify sellers do not uh, change their pricing at all, as we've seen on Shopify's recent quarter. The potential market for Jika's service is pretty big and growing quickly. Still, Jika is a small thing today with less than 1000 you know monthly recurring uh payments right but from small seeds big trees let's see how quickly jika can grow uh in its footprints in the shopify seller market so this is a application that they created right and to be honest their website doesn't even look nothing crazy um in the application i don't know it seems okay right i'm not gonna you know talk about the the application or how it looks so far just from the website um but it's a simple website right it's a simple website okay uh, again the goal is to try to solve the problem of testing different prices for a store now like i said you know this is great man this is just as you guys can see like opportunities for people to create applications like this that nobody else has on shopify okay there's a lot of different problems that a seller right a store owner has and if you can solve those problems there's gonna be a bag for you okay now it, they just started right they just started they're getting only like a thousand dollars but even at that you know there's still potential to grow especially now with all of this promotion and they are trying to get on Y Combinator etc and at the same time having guys like myself who is reviewing their applications reviewing, reviewing what they have right um, but you know I wish them the best right I hope that uh, they basically go out there and, and start getting some more income uh, but yeah man as you can see there's a simple application but you know there's a there's a place for that right there's a place in, in the shopify ecosystem for huge applications and at the same time there's a place for smaller applications even just like a little banner or even just a free shipping button like there's a place for that okay because most people don't want to do this themselves right so if you create an application that solves their problem and makes it easier for them to put it into their store there's an opportunity for you out there. Now, my favorite one out of all of them is this one, right? So it's called Wants.App, right? Now, this one is basically an application that creates a mobile experience for your product. Because in reality, you know, when somebody sees an ad on Facebook, they click on the ad and the website might not be optimized to tell the story of the product or get people excited to buy the product and make it easier for them to actually go and, and, and get to buy that product directly through this application, right? So if you guys go in here, let's search for the next one, which is once it says a Shopify storefront optimized for mobile. The startup is trying to funnel e-commerce traffic into mobile purchases, which is not currently as seamless as desktop experience by using Instagram stories. Once has created 12 mobile storefronts. The flagship customer has increased conversion rate by 70%. Okay. So they actually solved a huge problem for people. Okay. When you go and click on an ad and you go to somebody's store you know they might not have the best you know landing page or the best uh way to uh 
promote that product and, and show it in the, the best light that they can because maybe they're using a theme. Maybe the theme is not optimized for your, you know, for mobile sales or maybe they have to go through multiple processes to be able to buy the product, right? With this application, right? It allows you to create this landing pages and they have, I believe, what was it? They said 12 different templates. So basically uh, 12 mobile storefronts, which is like 12 different templates for each product. So it's up to you how you want to set it up, right? So they create 12 templates and the user chooses one on how they want their product to look, etc. So this right here is an example, right? So it says boost your e-commerce conversion rates on mobile. But at the same time, to basically promote that they're actually getting a 70% increase on sales, that's pretty damn big, man. Trust me, you know, 70% in, in, on more sales online because of this, this is going to change the game for a lot of companies. Okay, very easy. Connect your favorite eShop, create a mobile first shopping experience, and then link your experience directly in there. Okay, now let's look in here at a couple examples i believe they have it right here so this is juni i guess this is like what like pads and tampons or something for women okay um it looks nice it's a nice setup right looks pretty simple so imagine this on your phone okay uh you click on an ad and this pops up and then from there let me see if we could click in here inspect Put this on mobile and look this is exactly how it looks on somebody's phone that's nice bro and then all you have to do is just either tap next right you could try to drag it it's telling you hey man click on tap or tap back on this area so that's smart so they actually letting the user know ahead of time like hey man by the way you're trying to slide this and it's not a slide it's click on here this whole space and that's going to take you to the next slide if you click on here it's going to bring you back okay just like that and there we go if you want to buy you click here to buy and then automatically it sends you to their website okay and from there you could just buy it directly so that's actually pretty cool so instead of you having to see a full website or logo or a whole bunch of other things and maybe uh an experience that's gonna take uh longer for you know to load or something like now they're just creating these templates that are super optimized just for online right so this is actually pretty damn cool i'm gonna click right here check out the other one okay here we go and there you go tap here you see the story see information about the pants the clothes etc okay from there it tells you hey what size would you like uh hey i want to buy a size 40. there you go you click on there to buy and automatically it takes you to the shopify store so from there you could just pay with paypal and put in your information this application when you really look at it it's actually pretty simple you know, this is something that some of you guys might be able to create something like this and even give them competition because in reality, like this designs are nice, but they can have even more features. You get what I'm saying? Like there's so many opportunities, you know, I'm not trying to say, Hey guys, steal their idea and, and run with it. Right. Uh, but Hey man, if you can make something better than what they have, it is what it is, man. Okay. Uh, but like I said, this is great, man. This is great for the ecosystem of Shopify applications and to have them out there already on the Y Combinator. This is the wave guys. Okay. Some of you guys might think like, man, I need to create the next Facebook, the next, uh, Google, whatever, bro. It's not even about that no more. It's about, Hey man, how can you create microservices? How can you create micro software as a service, right? How can you solve problems for a specific niche? And this right here is a very lucrative niche, which is Shopify. Okay. Now, again, guys, if you want to learn how to code, you got to go to codingphase.com. Go support what we do there. And at the same time, if you guys haven't checked it out on codingphase.com, we actually teach all of this. We teach you everything from becoming a theme developer to becoming an app developer and then from there if you click on the links below everything that you see here you get 50 percent off okay plus at the same time i want to announce that we are making some you know payment plans for the people that be like man i would love to be able to start taking these courses but i can't afford it right now break it down into five payments bro break it down to five payments is basically uh you know fifty dollars a month 
when you include the 50% off, okay? So take advantage, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to help you guys out. I'm trying to put you guys on, on this game. And at the same time, as you guys can see, I started my own agency here. I'm diving super deep into Shopify because there's so many opportunities. I'm seeing what happened with a WordPress back in the days, right? And we seeing what's happening with Shopify now. Shopify is the new WordPress. The guys that get in now are the guys that is gonna actually win. The guys that get in, you know, five years from now is gonna be almost too late because the industry is gonna be flooded with applications and themes and you know people that's doing it right now is basically us you get what i'm saying like the guys that really know about this and know about e-commerce and the guys that uh basically have been working for companies uh doing e-commerce now they're creating their own applications this is not mainstream yet okay i'm letting you guys know ahead of time shopify app development is not mainstream so that means that there's more opportunities for you and more chances for your applications to actually get found and discovered okay so Again, take advantage, click on the link below on the description It's going to bring you to, uh, basically all of my courses. You could sign up for a monthly plan. It's going to be like 10 bucks. It's going to be for a yearly plan. I think it's like 198. You get access to all of the courses, which is the one that I recommend the most. But for some of you guys, yes, say, you know what? I don't want to sign up to a subscription. I just want to buy it. Cool. So if you just want to buy the bundle, now you have that ability to just go in there with 50 bucks, get started and you do a payment plan. It, it is what it is. Okay guys uh we're talking about a whole bunch of different courses in here that we have available for you terminal for developers node npm basics learn my sql uh, express js learn php learn ruby ruby on rails my first shopify store next js shopify app development with no js we're gonna go and give you guys another course which is gonna be an advanced course with shopify app development where we're gonna build a full stack application the whole process, everything from the landing page all the way to setting up our, you know, application within Shopify. And at the same time, showing you guys how to launch it, deploy it and start making recurring income from this applications. Okay. It is what it is, guys. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. If you like this channel, you like what we're doing here. As you guys can see, we focus on the income streams. We focus on becoming an independent developer. We focus on getting that bag. If you're interested in that, follow us. Okay. At the same time, we have all the courses that you need to get a job as a developer. But at the same time, I want you guys to be able to make income on the side because that's how you really got to make this money. OK, it's not really just working for somebody. You want to go and work for a company, but at the same time, you want to make income on the side. So one day you could say, you know what? I'm no longer a worker. I'm also a boss and I got my own company. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Peace.